Hey, what's up folks, it's Rojo, and welcome back to Let's Play Draconis, Cult of the Worm. When we last left off, we had finally, finally completed our juggernaut, and I retrieved the Phoenix's Tear from uh, some bug hives of some kind, and uh, now it's time to go to the Herfitz Forward Mines to destroy the Engine Colossus, apparently. Don't know what that is, but I'm sure we will find out shortly. So, here we go. The Juggernaut is complete and functions exactly as we'd hoped it would. Lesser foes surely would have scattered at the very sight of such an ominous opponent, but not the Draconis. Their relentless resolve is utterly inhuman, and we think we have some idea as to why this is. Despite the fact that dragons have been extinct from this earth for centuries, there seems to be one residing high up in the mountains. The Draconis are its furiously loyal foot soldiers, and it has gained allies on this world as well. With its growing base of power, the dragon is certain to eventually succeed in its designs, if not swiftly dealt with. Your father's army and the Juggernaut can only stem the tide for a while. We're trying to find out more about the Dragon and its base of operations. Meanwhile, there are missions important to the war effort that will occupy your attention. The Strong Pick clan is supplying the Draconis with arms. Like most dwarves, the Strong Picks are savvy when it comes to gadgetry. They have an elaborate machine, the Engine Colossus, which enables them to increase their productivity many times over. Without the engine, they cannot provide more than a trickle of supplies. We must destroy that engine. The destructive power of the potions we use to defeat the Insect Queen will be insufficient to ensure the sabotage of the engine. The dwarves, though, create massive explosions by supplementing similar potions with a secret catalyst. Discover the secret of the dwarven catalyst and obtain some of it. Then get to the engine room where you should mix the catalyst and the potions to create the explosion needed. Alrighty, well it looks like uh, we're going to be doing a little bit of uh, sabotage. Much like last time, at least fairly similar to last time. Oh no, the potions have already been mixed! It's green! Why? No, of course it's not mixed, but still, look at that HP bar, oh my goodness. What? Hello? Hello? I just heard somebody. It's very, very dark here as well. Why is it so dark? Oh, hello. Why is it so dark? Turn the lights on, damn it. Or do you have dark vision, because you're a dwarf? I guess that would make sense, wouldn't it? Did we get him? We got him. That's right. Alrighty, so we're, uh, we're, I don't even know where we are exactly. I guess we're outside, uh, outside the mine? Seems reasonable that that would be the case. Is this, this must be a little dwarf house out here or something. Let's take a look inside. Oh, somebody, what are you? Oh, that looks like he's gonna, yep, I was gonna say, that's a Cerberus, apparently. Hellhound, whatever you call it. I guess Cerberus being a famous Hellhound uh, or something like that. Oh, did he just... I think he just exploded and hurt us. That's uh, good information to have for the future. Anyway, I was about to steal this potion. Well, really, possession is nine-tenths of the law, so I was about to pick up my potion. <laughs> Not seeing anything else out here. No wisps. Not much in the way of enemies either, just a big open area. Are we outside? Yeah, we're outside. Good to know. Let's uh, also go ahead and just equip uh, probably this spell for now. Keep our fire spell for uh, maybe a boss or something like that. It seems prob like it's probably the best time to use it. Hello. What if our sword's better against dwarves? Probably not. He's trying to kill us with a pickaxe. Dwarves are quite tough as well, as I guess you would expect from uh, stereotypical dwarven uh, 
whatever, whatchamacallit. Oop, I didn't put my shield back up. They hit quite hard for only having pickaxes as well. Although we're doing 517 with our axe, which is really, uh, quite good. At least it feels pretty good. Just running around in the darkness here. I don't see anything, though, as one might expect uh, when running around in the darkness. Um, not really sure what I did expect. Maybe a secret door, or at least a door that's so well hidden that it may as well be secret because of the darkness. Oh, there's another guy right there. Definitely try to increase the brightness a little bit on this one. Anybody else? No? Good. You guys would have a better chance if you didn't come at me one at a time, although I do have sweeping attacks. This is just explaining to your dead friend there that I have sweeping attacks. But, uh, never mind. Is this a door? It's locked. It is a door, but it's locked. Okay. Oh, you just slammed the door in my face. That is very rude. Making my camera bug out and everything. This must be the, uh, oh, this is a big hit. This must be the dwarven uh, barracks, I suppose, or the, well, yeah, the barracks. I can't think of any other word for it. And I will certainly take this potion. If they're going to be leaving stuff lying around, I'll take this key as well. These uh, keys are like novelty size big, I've, I've just come to realize. Wonder if uh, they might consider just getting regular size keys for all these doors at some point. Probably not, though. We'd never be able to find them in this darkness anyway. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's a Blessing Wisp here. I think that's a blue one. I'm taking it. So that's one down already, actually. That's, uh... I guess uh, I was going to say not common, but the past couple levels we've actually had... We've actually had uh, some stuff, some wisps come out fairly uh, quickly. I'm wondering if I can jump on these. Am I supposed to jump on these is the real question. Is this uh, the way forward? Or I guess in this case, the way up? Let's take a look. I think it's probably not. Which means there must be another door somewhere. But where? Is this a door? This might be a door. Yeah, it sure is. All right. Excuse me. I've come to sell you encyclopedias! No? Nobody wants to buy any learning? Okay, fair enough. Smelly dwarves probably can't read anyway, am I right? Hey, Racism jokes. All righty. Aha! Stop running! So I can smite thee! Ooh, hey, they, they took my advice. This is actually probably a good situation to turn around and do one of these. Maybe they're uh, not particularly weak to earth magic, being dwarves. I don't know, I didn't see how much damage we did, so... It's okay, though. Alright. We're upstairs now. But to what effect? Anything? I'm not seeing anything over here, just uh, more darkness, as one might expect. I think there was another guy in here, though. Or maybe he uh, made his way out. No, there is a guy right here. There's also a, uh, a red wisp there, which is interesting. Hey, and we just got a key as well. Well, that's handy. The question is, do we take that wisp? I'm not gonna... Uh, I'm not gonna take the wisp. Not right now. We're... We're in pretty good shape, HP-wise, so... Uh, let's see, I'm thinking... Maybe we go through this door. And then we can come up this way. And open this door? Is that, uh... Is that what we're thinking? Ooh, there's another potion right there. They're, they're certainly being generous with the healing. I'm wondering if, uh... We're gonna have to put that to use uh, soon. Sort of have my doubts, though. Ooh, we're back outside, though, at least. These doors, man, they gotta, like... Gotta change the timer on those. Oh! How dare you dodge me? Did I just... I thought I actually was just about to uh, shoulder check that guy. That would be pretty cool. 
All right, one of you guys has got to be almost dead. Is that? Oh, I was gonna say, is the door gonna block the uh, shop? But it did not, thankfully. I think uh, I will go back and get that healing wisp now. <laughs> Considering we're kind of in rough shape. Take that and uh, I think the healing wisp was. What's this? Is this uh? That's that's just a oh, one of those barrels that uh, you can walk through. It's uh, a new newfangled dwarven technology. What will they think of next? Anyway. Healing Wisp was down here somewhere. I think it was in uh, this room. It was indeed. This shouldn't quite fill us to full HP, but I think it'll be pretty darn close. Yeah, pretty close. I think we had uh, like forty-four ninety-nine or something like that. Now then. It's very kind of them to leave uh, all this healing around for me, you know, more or less aiding in their own destruction. Little uh, did they realize, I guess. Or maybe they can't even see the healing wisps, so that would probably make more sense. Otherwise, they would try to do something with them. Or put them in a jar, I don't know. You know, you always, like, I thought about that, you know, you're always putting fairies in jars in the Zelda games, like... Maybe the fairies don't want to be in jars, man. Like, maybe they would just follow you around outside the, of the jar, because they can fly. And, uh, it seems, like a, it seems kind of a, a cruel existence. Like, at least poke some, some air holes in the top or something, man. You don't want to have to, uh, be relying on a fairy and open up the jar to find out that it actually died because you, uh, didn't take care of it properly. All right. Guess we should have been expecting some tunnels eventually. Hello. So very dark in here. Just, uh, it's actually more brown than, than black in this particular case. Hello. Okay. Good hit. Good try. Good night. There's a lamp over here. Why don't you turn the fucking thing on? I wonder if we could turn it on if we uh, had a fire spell. Not that it would be worth the, uh, the resources. Let's take a look at our map. We haven't done that yet. Looks like... Well, we already went to the east, by by my estimation, according to that green uh, thingy there. So, it's going to be all tunnels from here on out, I think. Let's, uh, hang on, let's see here. Yeah, I'm coming back out, and this should bring me back outside, right? To the ladder. Yeah, okay. So there's nothing that's going to be back this way. I guess we just go north. Ah, let's set a mark. This looks like some some kind of bullshittery in action. At least it will be shortly. <laughs> I'm seeing a, I think I'm seeing a narrow ledge, which usually means uh, something's going to try and push us off of it. And mark is oh I didn't I didn't I didn't push the button my mistake <laughs> one of many but it should be done shortly enough and then we'll press on across the uh, across the way here I sort of am suspicious as I said I'm hoping I haven't missed any uh, any wisps either let's let's look at our surroundings a little bit shall we oh no let's pay attention Let's back up. Oh, he's gonna actually run away from me. Get, get, get. I will smite you, I swear to God. Really, we're our own worst enemy all the way up here. There we go. I think we got him. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm guessing though, if we, if we jump off this, that's probably going to equal death. So we shall endeavor to not have that happen. Now then. Wisps. Let's talk about wisps. I'm expecting to see some wisps. Oh, 
Dude's got explosives. I'm wondering if uh, that was the catalyst that we just saw. I'm not sure. Well, he's got a healing potion. That's better than nothing. Or maybe this is the catalyst. Or maybe it's just some nice crystals that uh, provide a light source. Still, I'm not really seeing uh, much else out here. Is there like a plunger or something? No, I don't, I don't see anything. I think we just leave. That was the way back out. So I guess we go this way. Let's take a look at our map real quick. Yeah, I don't think we really have any choice here. Ah, a couple more uh, dwarvish friends. One more dwar dwarvish friend, anyway. Thought I saw two. This guy really didn't put up much of a fight. What is here? Looks like a cave-in. Yeah, I don't think there's anything we can do with that. I don't see anything... Ooh, that looks like a pit that I almost jumped in. Yeah, I think that I don't want to ever go near that pit again. <laughs> Probably need to pay a little bit more attention, even. Uh, let's see, though. Time out, map time. Just need to turn a little bit more this way, and there should be an exit. Yes, right here. Man. I can't see shit. Actually, I want to go back down this left path a little bit first. Yeah, there's a uh, there's a red wisp right here. But uh, we don't really need a red wisp. I'm thinking about grabbing it anyway, but uh, I'll leave it for now, I guess. We'll remember that it's there. If we can find our way back. For now, we need to keep our eye out for blue. Oh, where is he going? I guess that water's safe enough. Maybe we'll pick up the wisp after fighting these guys. These are actual dwarven warriors, it looks like. Got axes and stuff. Try to get a try and keep them uh, in front of us a little bit here. There we go. Well, I blocked one of them, but. You gotta be almost dead. Yeah, there we go. I think I've hit you a few times. Yep, there we go. Anybody else? No, I don't think so. There's only one way to go from here. I'm gonna go back and I'll grab that wisp now. Might as well. I mean, we've got seven healing potions. I don't think we really need to worry too much. I mean, I could end up being wrong about that and completely regretting it, but I don't think that will be the case. Alrighty, now we can press on. At least a little bit farther here. Wish there was a, uh, well, I guess there technically is a roll button, but I wish there was one that makes me go forward very fast, as is the case in many, uh, many older games. I'm not seeing any... Man, I'm, I'm getting nervous and I'm missing blue wisps here. There's, we haven't gone anywhere that we can't go back to, but still. Oops, I guess we gotta j jump up here. There we go. This is a uh, much larger area. Wow. Let's take a look. I think I'm seeing uh, a dwarf down there. I wonder if we could hit him from here with uh, one of our, like our earth spell or something. And then I don't, I don't see anybody else, I don't think. Let's travel along this path a little bit. Don't know that we really have much choice anyway. And the arrow is in this direction. Uh, maybe there's a ladder. <laughs> I don't see any... <clears throat> excuse me, I don't see any uh, any way down or any, any other... Ah, yes, right there. There's a ladder. 
And actually, I think I may save this ladder for next time. So I have a feeling we're at a good stopping point at the moment. So yeah, when we come back, we'll uh, we'll go down and we'll kill that guy first. That one right there. You see him by the by the crystals? Yeah, he's first. So anyway, until next time, my name has been Rojo, and thanks for watching.